hello everyone welcome back to my channel i'm here to do some videos about the differences between bc and ad <clears throat> okay i always thought that bc stand for before christ and i always wait well, yeah, that do what it's that do what it means before bc stand for before christ but i always thought ad stand for after death until i looked it up it says no Okay, I'm going to tell y'all the differences, okay, between that. As y'all know, B.C. is before October the 14th, 1994, okay? After death is six months later, okay? So, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. April, the Restoration Day, no Easter. That's when Easter is coming. Easter is after death, okay, of my daughter, Jill. Okay, that's after death. Okay, that's when the whole, that's when the new world came. Okay, that when we got stuck in hell. Okay, the box opened and made the whole world red. Red. Okay, and y'all know. Okay, so let's begin. Because BC is the, and I also thought that BC stands for booby course. You know, but anyway, let's begin. Because BC is the English abbreviation for before Christ, it is sometimes incorrectly concluded that AD means after death. After the death of Jesus, sis, which means that the appointed 33 years commonly associated with the life of Jesus will be included in neither the BC nor the AD time scales. See, we are in hell. We are in these time scales, okay? As if you want to know about 1985 and 1970 and shit, those are the years. Okay, we did not go by the years like that, okay? It said in it said in this article right here. Anyways, the short answer is that BC and BCE both refer to years before the birth of Jesus Christ. And AD and CE both refer to years after the birth of Jesus Christ. Okay. This expression, okay? I don't Okay, B.C. and A.D. reference Christ's birth directly while B.C.E. and C.E. are more circular ways to tell time. Okay, ways to tell time. <clears throat> the, the demons gave us this, gave us the time scales, okay? gave us the timelines and the calendars and shit like that. Okay, A.D. stands for Anno Domini, Latin for in the year of the Lord, while the devil... Okay, Gina and, them, Gina and them think it's them, but it's really him, okay, Moses, while B.C. stands for before Christ. Answer and explanation. B.C. starts the year before 1 A.D. and moves in reverse. What about telling y'all, okay? There is no year zero, so the year before 1 A.D. is 1 B.C., in the BC or BCE system, the larger the date is, the further back in time it is. Okay? You hear me? We are stuck somewhere, okay? I don't know where the fuck we stuck at, but we stuck in like 1994 or some shit. I don't know. AD. AD does not mean after death, as many people suppose. BC stands for the English phase. Before Christ, but AD stands confusingly for a Latin phase. I know Domini in the year of the Lord, the year Jesus was born. If the calendar actually changed with Jesus' death, then what will we do with the years during which he lived? Okay, see how we go way back, okay? Since Jesus was probably actually born around 6 B.C., or so, the, the what well, I tell you, 1995, okay? You add 1994, that's like five, okay? 1995 is six. 1996 is seven, I think, okay? Let me add it up, y'all. I don't know, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22, 23, 24, okay, that's four. Okay, I don't know. Anyways, around 6 BC or so, the connection of the calendar with him can be misleading, Okay? Mem many oh, members, many biblical scholars, historians, and archaeologists, which is me, puff well, all three, I do all three of those, prefers the less sacred designation before the common era, which is BCE, and the common era, which is CE. What we're trying to go back to, okay? 
or the first one, I don't know. Traditionally, AD was placed before the year number and BC after, but many people now prefer to put both abbreviation after the numbers. All of the abbreviations can also be spelled without their periods. The year Christ was born was born is considered AD 1, and the year before that is labeled 1 BC. Historians lose a nomenclature with less religious connotations, namely CE, BCE, where CE means common era, and BCE stands for before common era. Although the labels lose, lose are different, BC and BCE are the same, and so are AD and CE. This system of uh, numbering years were invented by Dionysius Estuis in AD 525, and it's loose and it's loose in the Julian and Gregorian calendars. Now, y'all always hear about people saying, I'm stuck in the system, I'm stuck in the system. We all stuck in the motherfucking system, okay? Even doctors and higher ups and shit like that, they we all stuck in the system, okay? They created the system for us, okay? Now, it says, Did you know? The Hebrew calendar consists, considers the year 3760 BC as year one. Add that up. Okay. Okay. In the Islamic calendar, the year 622 AD is year one before Prophet Muhammad embarked on a holy journey, journey in that year. Buddha died over 400 years before Christ was born. Okay. 1994. And he just, he just came back in 2020, okay? I really don't know who Buddha is, but I know Buddha, he's like one of my ancestors. He's like a baby. It's a baby, actually. It's a baby, okay? Buddha is not a grown-ass man. He's a baby, or she's a baby, okay? And I still ain't worked with her yet or him yet, but I will, okay? I just got a lot of shit on my mind right now, Buddha. Okay. While AD 1 is when Christ was believed to have been born when the system was invented, Historians now believe that Christ was actually born between 7 B.C. and 4 B.C., okay? Yes, that's why they say all black people, African Americans, are stuck in the system because my daughter was black, okay? So, yes, okay, hopefully y'all enjoyed this reading. I'm not just reading this video about Shana Message, about the Shana, my Shana Message. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed these videos, okay? I'm out. I got a couple more to go, Okay? Take a break, okay? I'm out, peace.